anchors up, sells it full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. How are you doing, Jared? Not going to complain. Kyle, we had a lot happen this weekend. I'm going to uh, put forth a petition to not mess around and get right to it. Yes. Yes, sir. Let's go right into this. This uh, Collegiate Chaos or, or Team Chaos. So Team Chaos went to town. Went to town this weekend. Oh, hey, y'all. Oh, God. I brought up the Sloop Picks scoreboard again by accident. It's fine. I'm still it's winning. Fine. It's still early. I'm still winning, it's, though. It's still, er- it's Spike, still Spike's, early. It's for the week, though, Spikes crushed us. He did. He did. Uh, really redeemed the uh, 0 and 7 by the chat last week. Uh, coming back with a 5 and 2 this week. <laughs> You even beat Cousin Jay. Nice job. Wow. Nice job. All right, let's let's go and get right into the to the games. A lot of game, a lot of games. To, I, to I, I, I do need to give Spikes his flowers one more time. We finally have a winning pick on the Chaos Theory scoreboard. His uh, Kansas State pick hit. The guests are now winning thirteen to zero to zero. I will say, my game did go to two overtimes. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'm very not happy that that didn't turn out the way I needed it to turn out because <laughs> 19 points is a big score. That is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I am just saying it was a good call. It just didn't quite work out. All right. Now let's get nope. to the tier list. All right. Let's let's start from the top here. Uh, Georgia and Alabama were on bye week. I believe I don't recall seeing seeing them on here so they stay put uh, obviously we talked about the house state game um, in Monday's episode so if you want to hear more about that check out our Monday's episode and Texas took care of business in uh, when they played UL Monroe so yeah they stay they stay yeah I mean there's no but, changes to S tier unless we want to add someone to S tier I don't think so at, at this. Well, well, let's 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 talk about. We it. could let's, certainly start having conversations about Miami and Tennessee the way they look right, right now. Well, let's 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 start with Miami. Miami Miami beats Southern Florida fifty to fifteen. Um, I said this could be a potential, um, like maybe a sleeper game, but no, Miami took care of business, so they're. They're they're doing what they're what they've been asked to do here and and more in, in a lot of these games here. So are they are they for real? What do you think, Jared? Listen, I'm I'm a person who wants to wait and see Miami prove it because it's I've just seen them not prove it so many. They're they're just one of those teams that like to get hyped up in the preseason, and I think I I th- feel like I've just touched that stove one too many times. But man, they're they're making me start to doubt myself. Uh, I'm starting to wonder if they are for real, and I will mm-hmm. copy and paste that same response for Tennessee. Yep. So the Tennessee one uh, beat Oklahoma twenty five to fifteen. Uh, definitely, definitely a great win on the road at Norman there. Um, yeah, so there, there are definitely discussions that you can be made about Tennessee being moved up to to S tier. Yeah, do, and do you think? Do you think? Do you think now is it now is the time to do that? You could certainly make the argument they won a ranked on ranked game. Mm-hmm. You and I don't have never shown Oklahoma any love, though. I know that they're ranked pretty high, but. Oklahoma's had some pretty ugly games against some pretty bad teams. Uh, I, I think you and I have been appropriately hating on Oklahoma so far this mm-hmm. year. So I understand that it looks like a really good win, and it is a really good win. Oklahoma is still a very talented team, but they're not a team that has put it together yet this year, if they ever will. So I, I think it looks like a better win on paper than it really actually is. I would I'm not for or against putting Tennessee in S tier at this point. I mean Tennessee's defense absolutely for real. 
I was really was really impressed with what I've seen from tennis here, Tennessee here so far. Offensively, it looked like they were really good, but they definitely struggled in, in this game here. Uh, the quarterback, Nico, um, was not not all that great. He was uh, almost 50 almost 50 percent uh, passer completion here um, in this game. And yeah, I what was it? And they averaged only 2.9 yards per carry on the ground. Uh, yeah, they they tried to, to try to run it, run it, run it at Oklahoma, and they could not they could not get any like big runs going here. So I mean, hats off to Oklahoma here. But but is is that are we going to? Is that going to show us who Tennessee really is here when they actually play some tougher competition that their offense just isn't as good as what they could be here? It, I think it's. Um, I think we'll find out here in a in a few weeks. So I think for now, I think for now we'll I'll keep Tennessee at A tier, but they they are definitely like on that on that edge of going from A to S. I mean, we say we don't rank them within the tiers all that much, but we we can slide them over at least. Um, I, I think I think these are the two teams oh. right now that we're considering moving up. So I'll slide them over to the left. Mm -hmm. uh, Ole Miss, Ole Miss took care of things against Georgia Southern. Sure, Georgia Southern. Good job. Missouri had to go into double overtime. Yeah, to beat Vanderbilt. My chaos theory pick that almost hit. Mm -hmm. I'd almost say, "Wow, that was terrible." Maybe we should drop them down, but no, not this week. We we have we have to move a ton of teams this week. We had a we had a, we had ten teams in our A and B tiers lose this week. Yep. So yep. so I'm not. Missouri, yeah, Missouri stay. If Missouri you win, stays, you stay. But, Missouri stays, but you keep keep an eye on them. You keep an eye on them. Yeah. Uh, Oregon was on by. Yeah. The Trojans. Trojans, yeah. Trojans, you, you disappoint. They, they broke at the most inopportune time as they have they a did. tendency to do. Yep. So they go down to B tier. And along with that, uh, you do have to move Michigan up to B tier then. I know you're right, but I don't like it. I know. I I don't like it either, but it's them's the rules. Them's the rules. I mean, it's not the rules. We don't have to do it, but but you are <laughs> right. We should do it. Mm -hmm. In Kansas State, we have Kansas State not just losing. Yeah. Not just losing. Demolished. But getting destroyed by BYU 38 to 9. No. Do you want to keep them at B tier or do you want to move them down to even C tier? Let's just drop them down to B tier for now. We have to move a lot of teams out of B tier and down to probably down to C tier. So let's just move mm -hmm. them down to B tier for now and we can have a conversation if they should drop further after that. How about that? Fine. Fine. All right, uh, last one here. You have uh, NIU, who lost in overtime to Buffalo. You know that 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 last spot, the the Power of Five spot there. Group of five. Group of five. Thank you. Yeah. You, you got to win. You, you got to win here. So I, no. our 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 group of five, like favorites decimated this week they did yeah niu lost toledo lost coastal carolina lost memphis lost i think they're yeah. i think i'm forgetting one um <laughs> it, it was a bad week for like our our group of five teams that we had sort of elevated up um it was, yeah, we're we're gonna have to figure out who our new group of five team for a tier is, for sure. Uh, we're gonna need to figure that out. All right. All right anybody we want to move up to? I know. So that was all of S well, we have and to. tier. Anybody? Anybody? Yep. 
yeah, we do have to move teams up. So as part of our rules that we have for our our tier list is S and A tier have to combine the 12 for the playoffs here. And Correct. currently we have four in S tier and five. Uh, five an A tier. So we have nine. So we have to do three. We, we have, have to, to do three. three. We have to add a big 12 team. We do. Because we removed our big 12 team and we have to add a group of five team. So we have one open slot, one slot that has to be filled by a big 12 team and one spot that has to be filled by a group of five team. But before we do that, we're going to take our first <laughs> ad break real quick here. So if you want to, Go ahead, go ahead and do the thing there, Jared. If you want to uh, head on over to thesoupcast.com, where you can find all of our lovely links here, such as our YouTube page, youtube.thesoupcast.com, discord.thesoupcast.com. If you want to join our hooligans down in the chat here, join join us during, our, during the weekends, in the weekdays, chat with us. Uh, or become a patron to support the the podcast here, patreon.thisloopcast.com. You can find all of the links and much, much more um, by just going to thisloopcast.com. Uh, so with that being said, we'll go ahead and take our first ad break and be right back. And we're back. All right, Kyle, to recap. All right, who are we moving? <laughs> who are we moving up? So group of five, we have Boise, we have UNLV, we have James Madison. Oh, San Jose State also lost. That we had we had San Jose State pretty high up in our C list. Um, they also lost. So we have like James Madison, who I'm fine jumping up from C tier uh, after they decimated North Carolina this week. So let's go ahead and just move James Madison yep. up to B yep. tier for now. Yep. Absolutely. Maybe Absolutely. A tier, maybe A tier, but the conversation we um, need to have is James Madison versus Boise versus Liberty. All right. That's, is this well, anyone well, before, chat? Hold on, hold on. Am before I forgetting get, anyone? Be, be, before we go there, before we go there, Jared, I would, I want, to, I want to fill in the other two spots here. Okay. And I, I have I have two I have two names here. Okay. And let's agree or disagree here. So the first spot, first spot for me is Penn State. Put Penn State in the A tier. I'm okay with that. They kind I, I think of, because they had, couple, they had a shaky they, game, but they've come back and done what they should be doing. Yep. They shut out Kent State as they they what they should have done here so yeah what was that 59 to nothing so something like that yeah i, I think they move i think they move up to a tier right now 56 56 okay yeah. now we need a big 12 team uh who is the big 12 i guess utah it would be utah utah would they they would defeated right now they defeated so there were we talked last week how there were three teams in the big 12 um Kansas State lost. Utah yep. won. And Utah beat the third team, Oklahoma State. So it has to yep. be it has to be Utah. U, U, Utah and Penn State were two teams that I think at one point we already had an A tier, who we are now putting back into A tier. All right. So Fair enough. almost done with A tier. Now it's time for that group of five convo. We have. James Madison, we have UNLV, we have Boise, we have Liberty. One of these teams, Kyle, we must add into A tier. Chat, do you guys have any strong opinions between these four teams? Because I have weak opinions, <laughs> not strong opinions. Not really. Thanks for the help, Spikes. <laughs> I'll, I'll say this. I prefer James Madison and Boise over UNLV and Liberty. Uh, I, I would say it should come 
Well, I, I said I'd like either Boise or James Madison. Esquire goes, I like Boise. Spike goes, I'll campaign for James Madison. So no help there. <laughs> Kyle, you choose. I'm ha- I, we've we've cut it down. UNLV is off the table. Yeah. Liberty's off the table. I'm going to let you choose between Boise and James Madison. Um, I think this week I'm going to choose Boise. I think I'll choose Boise. Boise it is. All right. All right. So, so our A tier is Miami, Tennessee, Ole Miss, Missouri, Oregon, Penn State, Utah, and Boise State. All right. Um, All right. All right, B tier. Let's let's kind of go through these a little quick here. So, so move, do you want to move. cover first the teams that we're dropping out of A tier, which is a lot, or excuse me, out of B tier, yeah. B tier, All right. which so, is uh, a lot, a lot of teams. So we we just move we just move James Madison up to B tier, Clemson. Uh, they they did a number this weekend, <laughs> I believe. They did. No, no, I was thinking. I was thinking the. I Clem- don't even have them on here. Clemson also. Who, who did they play? Who did they play? I, I forget who they played. Uh, they absolutely oh, yeah, right. decimated. <laughs> they did. Yeah. They did. Yep. So they, yep. They they say where they where they're at. Um, playoff bubble. Uh, same thing with Iowa State. They say where they're at. Kyle, you didn't say who they absolutely Liberty. decimated. Yeah, they decimated NC State. Your Wolfpack. Uh, Liberty. He, he won't. He won't take the bait, guys. Did, he won't do it. Who Who did Liberty play? I don't believe they did this weekend. I believe both they and UNLV had the week off. All right. And Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Um, had a slow start it, against slow start. Yeah, Miami of Ohio against a pretty yep. bad team. It, Not a great look for Notre it, Dame. It, they, I mean, they they stay where they're where they're at, and they're they're in the bubble there. So, uh, Louisville beat Georgia Tech. Uh, a good win. It's a it's a it's, it's a, a good win there. Is it? I mean, it's a fine win. Don't get me wrong, but. Sure. That's already Georgia Tech's second loss. We we had we put Georgia Tech up on a pedestal a little bit before we realized just how bad Florida State was. They probably don't belong sure. up on that pedestal. Uh, UCF. Um, yep. UCF stays there. Um, UCF is still undefeated. Um, yeah. And they, they 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 still belong in the in the bubble there. Um, I don't think LSU played. Did LSU play? I don't remember seeing them. I think they were. All yeah. Five yeah. Yeah. Out. They they played UCLA and UCLA uh, played them That's close right. for a while. That's right. Yes. They they played them really close for a while. It Quite frankly, not a great look for LSU because UCLA is not very good. Um, mm-hmm. It was it was tied at halftime. Yeah. 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 It's uh, tied at halftime. Yeah. And, and it'll, LSU is not. I think these are yeah these are last week's rankings. I don't know where the AP moved LSU to this week. I don't care quite frankly, but they're not the 16th best team in the country. Um I quite frankly think that there's a lot of bad teams sitting like 10 to 25. Maybe not specifically 10. I'm not I'm trying to call um, out whoever number 10 is. We moved Michigan up to B tier over their win over USC, who we moved from A to B tier. Uh, and well, I hold on. We moved really down. good, really good point from Esquire. LSU was our measuring stick for USC, which explains the Michigan result. We thought we thought USC was good because of what they did to LSU. All of a sudden, maybe that doesn't look so great. Fair. Um, Northern Northern Illinois lost. Um, they they're, they're still uh, there is an argument you could move them down to C tier. 
and out of the playoff bubble. Yeah. Um, Hon- honestly, I'd say move him down to C tier. All right, we'll move I'd him down. Move him down. I don't feel like arguing about it. I would have left him up, but I wasn't that. I'm not that passionate about it. Uh, Syracuse, move him down to C tier. Syracuse moves down. They, they, they lost their game, uh, to Stanford. Stanford. That's right. Yeah, that's not a. Yeah, bad loss. Costa Car- Costa Carolina lost. I think they go down to C tier as well. Oh boy, yeah, it's it's a the bad a bad day to be in the Sloopcast B tier, or mm-hmm. it was a bad weekend at least. Memphis and I would, I, lost. I, I'd say the same thing with Memphis. Memphis goes down to C tier as well. It's it's rough. They need help. They need they. they yep, it's rough it is being rough. a group of five team. It is rough now, being Oklahoma a five team. Yeah. Now Oklahoma State, even though they lost to Utah, yeah. it's still just one loss. It's still just one loss in the Big Twelve. So a, a competitive I, loss. They stay there. Yep. And Toledo goes down as well with their loss. Our Mac uh, fans so, are pissed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little upset too that I'm having to move so many Mac teams down. Oklahoma, All I still them. think stays. Oklahoma, Oklahoma stays. Yeah, oh, yeah, th- yep. Oklahoma stays. Yep. Same thing with Kansas State. Kansas State it is stays. Fair. Kansas State stays in the B tier as well as uh, you, you wanted to talk oh. about Kansas State before because they got yeah. smacked. Now you're pretty OK leaving them in B tier. Uh, I mean, it is it is just one loss and all they need to do is win the Big 12. Yeah, but they they they, they lose that second game They Yeah. They they're out. They're out there um, in Nebraska. Yeah, I do have to move Illinois up. I do have to move yes. Illinois up because four no four no. And they I they wanted the to move Illinois Nebraska. up last week. Just saying in, in Nebraska, in Nebraska um, with only one loss there. Yeah, I think they're still in the discussion there. But what about their neighbor to the east? Indiana. Indiana. I don't know. You make make the case for me, Jared. Uh it's Indiana. <laughs> they beat they beat Charlotte. Convincingly. They are undefeated. Have mm-hmm. they played anyone of note? I mean they beat UCLA a lot better than LSU did. You know, if it's going to make you happy, you can move them up, Jared. Go Hoosiers. But if you're going to move them up, you also have to move BYU up. I would jump to the playoff that's, bubble that's, as well. That's, that's perfectly fine. I <laughs> was going to make I don't you made that sound. You made that sound like it was a compromise. It wasn't. I'm fully OK moving BYU up. All right. Looking at all of these other teams here that's in C tier. Is there anybody is there anybody that's worth bringing up to b tier not because i think they're great but because they play in kind of a lousy acc although you know louisville and clemson are looking better miami's looking pretty good and i'm not saying i'm not saying we do it but i'm saying maybe maybe we keep an eye on boston college uh yeah, keep an eye. Yeah, I would say keep keep an eye on Boston College. Uh keep it on Pittsburgh. Yeah. Um Um Iowa had a I mean they won. What who who had the stat? Iowa and Michigan both won having a combined was it like 150 yards passing? I saw this stat somewhere in the Discord. Hold on, let me let me let me find that. It it could yeah, it was it was pretty hilarious. There's... It's peak Big Ten. Oh come on, load for Thomas me. Uh, Castellanos yeah. is going to be a problem this year. I think Tommy C and Aiden Childs are 
the same style plays player. So an eye for MSU to rise. You, you know, Michigan Cade, State lost this weekend, right? Yeah. Cade McNamara was 11 for 19 for 62 yards. Yeah. And what did Orgy have? Uh, he had like terrible yards. Uh, <laughs> let me let me let me pull it up real quick here. Sorry, it's taking a while for it to to load here. Uh, he was seven for twelve for thirty two yards. So under a hundred yards for both both of but for both quarterbacks combined for both for both current and former Michigan quarterbacks combined combined. And they both won. Crazy. So I, I, I can't, I don't think I can in good conscious move Iowa up. No. But yeah, let's nope. keep an eye on Pittsburgh. Let's keep an eye on Boston College. Um, I think currently those are the three teams. Um, well, I think four teams. Uh, to keep an eye out is Boston College, Iowa, Pitt, and Texas A&M. It's kind of the, the four Texas, then I'm kind really? of Texas A&M. I mean, they, they only, I they, they they I'm only saying that just because they they, they beat have the, Bowling Green by six this weekend, Kyle. They did. They did. Bowling Green by they six. Did. I know that they're ranked. I have to ask why. Fair. I mean, that's, that's a fair point. I, I don't have any. Yeah, exactly. Spikes. That, so exactly. Spikes. So, Kyle, here, here's here's my here for, for the YouTube folk, for the YouTube folk. Here's my thoughts on Texas A&M. That's <laughs> no. my thoughts on Texas A&M. Can, can I hold on? Let me let me do the new sticker. This, these are my thoughts. These are my thoughts on Texas A&M, Kyle. No, 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 no. <laughs> J.K. Dobbins says no. No, 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 no. All right. Is there anybody else you're looking here? I don't want to have to go through the through the rest here. Is no, there no, anybody no. else? Um, Rutgers is still undefeated. Certainly keeping no on love Rutgers. for Rutgers. What's that? No, no love for Rutgers. What do you mean? No love for Rutgers. You don't have love for Rutgers or other people don't. Other people don't. Ah, yes, I agree. You know, Washington State, maybe a little. They, South they beat, Carolina, they maybe Tech. a little. They beat Virginia Tech on the road. I would have liked to have seen them beat Virginia Tech better. It's not a it's not a good team. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you know, we have to keep some of these group of five teams sort of on this, you know, left in C bubble to just keep an eye on. But we'll see. Okay. Oh, look, here's NC State. Um, Anybody that go deserves to go down to M tier? Uh, no, I don't think anyone else is a massive disappointment at this point. Um, That's really just Florida State, who did finally win this weekend. Florida State on the board. Congrats. Defeating Cal 14 to 9. I'm going to I'm going to throw one other name to keep an eye out for that could be possibly moving up to B tier. And Kyle, I really want to hear that name. Hmm? After this break, uh, if you want to uh, support us financially, you can go to patreon.sleepguys.com. It's only three dollars a month and you can pay for an entire year up front and get a discount doing so. So if you don't want just like another, you know, yearly bill or excuse me, monthly bill, I totally get that. You just pay for the whole year up front. It's only like 30 some bucks, including tax. Um, that's how you can support us financially. You also get like premium access to the discord, which is. Um, one of, you know, you see spikes and Buckeye Esquire down here chatting, participating in the show. That's how they do that. They do it on the discord server as patrons. Uh, only the patrons get to do the live listen in, but the rest, most of the rest of the discord server is free. Um, you can listen to us on Spotify. There's our, you, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, RS 
RSS, not the salubrass.com. You can plug that into any podcast app. Uh, we also have t-shirt stores. Merch.thesloopcast.com is our uh, podcast merch store. And 7071.thesloopcast.com is just more like general Ohio merchandise. But it supports us just the same. So like, hey, you want to support us, but you don't want to wear podcast merch. I get it. Go ahead over to 7071. That is 7071.thesloopcast.com. Uh, here are those ad breaks now. Who's that team, Kyle? The Cougars. Yeah. They are they are 4 0. Yeah. They are 4 0, and they get a chance to uh to battle uh team that we have up in the A tier that we just moved to the A tier in Boise State. I'm just saying just keep an eye, keep an eye on the, the Cougars of Washington State. Yeah, I think that's totally fair. Um, I have them over here in this little, I don't know what you, oh, wait a minute. I, I went to the wrong screen. Hey, there, there we are. are. Hi. Um, I have them over here in this little, um, okay. cut out this little, I don't know what you'd call this. I have this little, this, this little, uh, no idea what you'd call that. This little section of C tier, the C section guys, it's the C section. <laughs> it's, it's the C section. Um, I, I got, I, got I, I don't like myself for that joke. I got one, I got one last team. I don't we like can myself for that things joke. Up. Okay. And I just, and I just want a reaction out of you. That's all. What about Colorado? Shout out to moms. <laughs> uh, um, do we care? Like they beat a Baylor team that wasn't very good. Like, I mean, make make the case. Why why Colorado? They were one and zero in their conference. They have not lost in their conference. That's that's what you got. That's what I got. Yep. They do they do this weekend play a team that is in our playoff bubble right now. Cool. We'll talk in about them. We'll talk about them next week then. All right. All right. That's fine. <laughs> that's that's, that's great reaction that's all all right all right kyle that's that's our tier list what do, what do we got coming up this next week for games sure let me let me let me pull up let me pull up the games here let's go to our schedule for week five yes of course georgia bama is the the highlight yep georgia bama is the highlight here uh Hey, let, let's let's watch let's watch uh, let's head on over Friday night to Piscataway, New Jersey. Rutgers taking on Washington. That might be fun. Maybe sure. Rutgers is a two and a half. Rutgers is a two and a half point favorite over Washington. Sure. Getting serious answers. Uh, Oklahoma <laughs> State, Kansas State. All right, it could be. That could be interesting. I I mean that's could be very important. Uh, I mean we at this point are suspecting the Big Twelve gets one team into the playoff, and mm-hmm. that could be incredibly could. important as far as that race goes. So yeah, that's a very important game. On 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 the Peacock Channel, Louisville Notre Dame. That be that 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 could be an. Really interesting game, and we'll definitely um, move some teams around in our in our rating rankings here. Okay, I mentioned Colorado. Mentioned Colorado UCF. That one could that one would be interesting as well. When uh, the the Ohio State Michigan State game should be said is an evening game. That is a yep. that is a seven o'clock game. Um, Kyle, are we doing the instant react for that one? Or does that start the next week? I think it's the the following week. Okay, so we 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 won't we won't plug that yet. Um, so it looks like if we're trying to t- like determine what the sloop picks are going to be next week, looks like the evening slate will probably be the three hander with Michigan State, Ohio State, obviously Georgia, Bama, Illinois, Penn State, which yep. shockingly is a really good game. Um. 
those three, um, 3.30, our fourth game would be Louisville, Notre Dame. Yeah. Um, fifth game, maybe Oklahoma State, Kansas State. Uh, that's at noon. Mm hmm. Uh, that is a noon game. Uh, maybe looking, Michigan, looking at- Minnesota for the second noon game. Mm-hmm. Illinois, Penn State is uh, a secret banger. By the way, also sh- should be noted Ohio State, Michigan State will be on Peacock. Um, yeah. So um, uh, make no, no, make another, adjustments accordingly. Yeah. Another 330. I mentioned that Colorado UCF. I'm I'm looking at other 330s. And the 330s are not that good. Yeah, 330s are a bit light. Wisconsin USC. Mm. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a fair reaction. That's a yeah. fair reaction. Yeah. At least at least one of those teams are ranked, unlike Colorado U, uh, UCF. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's uh, 330 is a bit light. I think we can put together a pretty good noon window. 330 is a little light. We'll figure that one out. All right. Um, Are, are there any good Fridays this week? I, I said oh, Washington, yeah, Washington, Washington Rutgers. Rutgers. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You did say that. We might have to do one three thirty game with a Washington Rutgers Friday night kicker. Yeah, we'll talk. I about think it. so too. We'll talk about it. All right. Um. So this will be the sloop picks next week. How do you have anything in the ask sloopcast mailbag? Um. Did have two questions here. Uh. And one question is the Big Ten so soft that an obviously terrible Michigan can compete well enough? I, I listen. I stand I stand by everything we said in our know your enemy offseason edition of Michigan. Their offense sucks. I stand by that. And their defense is really good unless you you know unless they need to dip into the depth of that defense. One of the things that USC failed to do that you need to do to beat Michigan is you need to tire out that defense a bit. Um, Kyle, do we have any info on what happened to Will Johnson? He left that game. I don't think he ever came back. And and I bring that up to say that like he left the game and then Michigan immediately got scored on like USC immediately just ripped the secondary apart, went down for a touchdown after he left the game, which Again, kind of proves my point. If you want to beat Michigan this year, you're going to need to do a little bit of ball control. You're going to need to tire out that defense. And again, with their offense kind of being terrible right now, Mm -hmm. that should be very achievable. That's what USC failed to do was to maintain some ball control. That's kind of one of the things that Orgy is going to help them do. Because even if that offense isn't explosive with him in there, it is at least getting some first downs and keeping the defense off the field, which yeah. is the real benefit of having him out there. But we'll see what happens when, you know, they they play a real defense. All right. Um, Anything on Will Johnson that you found? I I can't find okay. I can't find anything. I mean, it might not be out yet. Um, if it ever comes out, Michigan doesn't typically report on injuries. Neither does Ohio State. Um, all right, Kyle, do you have anything? Uh, was it just the one question? Uh, all, yeah. All I saw. All I saw. It says he's okay. That's. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Listen. All I know is that the parents went back to the locker room too, which isn't typically a good sign. Yeah. Just saying. Um. He did go back under his own power. Maybe it's nothing. I don't know. Um, any, were any other questions in the Sloopcast mailbag? Um, should we be concerned about the defense going into games of Oregon, Penn State, and Michigan? That's a really good question. I don't know the answer to yet. Quite frankly. Um, oh, excuse me. 
I, I don't know the answer to that question yet. Um, you know, we can have conversations of was Ohio State just not. You know, were they underestimating Marshall? Were they, you know, did they have a vanilla defensive game plan against Marshall? Does losing Tyleek really hurt that bad? Those are good questions that we just quite frankly don't know the answer to at this time. Mm -hmm. The defensive line needs to 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 use Ryan Day's favorite word from last season, get tougher. Yep. Quite frankly. I I would agree. I would agree with that. Yeah. I think the secondary's tough. I think the linebackers are tough. I think the defensive line can get pushed around. When when push comes to shove, they get shoved. And that needs to be fixed. Whether it be schematically or attitude or whatever the case might be that needs to be fixed. Mm -hmm. All right, Kyle, anything in, uh, anything in Kyle's corner? I was really trying to look, I don't really see, don't really see anything other than the, the Columbus crew keeps winning. That's so, all you can ask for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they made the playoff. They, uh, they are officially playoff bound. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Um, that's oh, so they they also was it was it they, beat, they, spikes? they, they also it, beat Orlando. Use, yeah, I was gonna say yeah. is that is that your team Z spikes or is that yeah. someone else's? Don't don't you don't gotta rub it in, man. <laughs> you don't gotta rub it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't you don't gotta do that. All right. It, it was a lot closer game than I thought it was going to be. I'll I'll say that. That's rub. That's Kyle. That's definitionally rubbing it in. He just said, I'm surprised we scored three. Yeah, but that's his team. He's allowed to say it about his team. All right. Dark mode, <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> He's brutal when it comes to soccer, you guys. He's a nice guy when it comes to football. When it comes to soccer, he goes brutal mode. All right, that's it. That's the end of the show. Um, He's still salty about his wolf pack. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> right, I I see no wolf pack back here, so no. So what what would be your response if I say that, that they're your wolf pack? Not going to do it, guys. I keep trying to get him to do the thing. He won't do the thing. It's it that that's that's your thing, Jared. It's not. Don't don't make it about my thing. Your thing being the wolf pack. <laughs> Oh, this is getting to him, guys. He doesn't like it. I'm going to keep poking the bear, though. All right. That's it. That's the end of the show. Um, once again, tonight's ending music, uh, Columbus-based band called Pray for Sleep. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and, of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Pray for Sleep. <laughs>